In this video, I'll show you how to download, set up, and use the Xbox Remote Play on your PC. So the first thing that you will need to do and know is that you should always have your Xbox turned on while using Remote Play. You should have a stable connection to the internet, and your Xbox and your play, uh, PC must be connected to the same internet connection while using Xbox Remote Play. So to start off, we need to navigate and open up the Microsoft Store on our Xbox on our PC. Where it's usually placed in the taskbar, but if you don't have it in the taskbar, go over and press the search button on your taskbar, and here write Microsoft Store, and you will find it right here. After you get inside of the store, go to the top and select the search bar. There, write Xbox. After you have written Xbox, you select the application, and here instead of the open button, you will have the install button. You press it, and your application will automatically download and install. Then, after you have downloaded and installed that application, we should move over to our Xbox. Now that we are inside of our Xbox, we should look for the settings application. For me, it's right here, but for you, if it isn't, you need to go into My Game and Apps, select that, and press the A button. Then, on the left, scroll down to Apps, and then swipe right. After you get here, you scroll down and select the Settings icon. Let's open it up. After you get into the Settings, you scroll down till you get into Devices and Connections. When you get in here, you scroll to the right and select the Remote Features. Let's select it. And when you select it, if you have enabled some sort of identification using credentials, such as a PIN or a password, you will be asked to input it. Here is mine, so I'll need to input it, and I'll be back as soon as I'm done. And I just got finished with entering my password, and I got to this screen. So, when you get on this screen, first off, you need to make sure that this is checked or enabled. After you have enabled that, you move to the right, and then you select the Xbox App Preferences. For, before you do that, you can test the remote play, and you can mess around with these options, but they are not necessary since they don't change much. Now, select Xbox and App Preferences. After you get in here, you have to choose between these three options. You can allow connections from any device, only from profiles signed in on this Xbox console, and don't allow the Xbox app to connect. So, first off, the first thing you need to do is... May, uh, get your priority straight. For example, if you don't mind anyone on your internet connection being able to connect you to your Xbox, you select the first one, and you select the second if you only want to connect using the profile that is connected to the console already. For, for me, it's the second one, so I have selected it, and now we can go back to our PC. Before we go back to our PC, we need to make sure that our controller is connected to our PC to be able to use remote play. The first, the first thing you need to do is take your charging cable and plug it into your controller right here. After you have plugged it, you take the other part, which is the USB part, let me take it, and you plug this into your PC. Now we are back on our PC, we go over to our taskbar and press the search button, then we write Xbox in the search button, and open up the application that we downloaded at the beginning of the video. After we get inside of the application, we navigate to the top left and make sure that we are signed in with the correct account. After we make sure that we are signed in, we move over to the icon next to the account section. We, select, we press it, and then we select our Xbox right here, and we should be automatically loading into Remote Play. And we are into Remote Play. As I mentioned in the beginning, you must have your Xbox turned on while doing this. And now let's toggle off full screen so you can see better that we are playing actually in our PC. Here we are on the PC, let's press the back button. And here we can do anything that we want. Basically, we can go into the Game Pass and download new games. We can go into Store. Let's open up some games that I have on my Xbox. For example, let's open up Forza Horizon. And we have opened up Forza. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.